pluck and play. Pluck, 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 pluck and play. Pluck, pluck it out. Nerd alert. Nerd alert. Hey everyone, this is Damien from DSLRNerd.com. How are you doing today? I'm doing a bit of a review or discussion on cases that I have. So this is the Pelican 1510 case with foam for camera black. Uh, $150 currently on Amazon. This is a super strong case. Definitely survive. Great drops in height if you would. As you've probably seen, this case has a pressure valve which automatically equalizes the pressure inside the case when it's shut. It's got a very, very sturdy handle on the side and on the top. Got a little place there where you can put your TSA approved lock. And what's great about this case is the handle on the back for rolling it. This is actually TSA approved for fitting in the overhead bin of the airplane. So this runs about $150 on Amazon and you can get the insert for another 25 I think it was, $20 for the insert. So let's take a look at this. These are latches that are quite easy to open yet they're really strong. And we'll take a look inside. Here's the Pelican 1519 lid organizer for the 1510 and 1514 cases. $20 on Amazon. You can buy this separately, this utility uh, carrier it goes up in the top. It cuts down on your padding of your case a little bit uh, because when you first get this Pelican case, there's a this is all foam on the top. So that's resting nicely on whatever's bulging out, maybe a little bit or sticking out just a little bit in your case. Uh, but I took it out. Um, I haven't found any issues or problems with uh, damaging my gear inside from what's up here. Currently this Pelican's full of a whole bunch of gear and junk. I have like three bags now. I've got the small cannon bag, I've got this, and I have that Temba backpack. So lately I've been keeping my camera and my lenses in the Temba backpack and just using this for odds and ends and gear and stuff. But uh, there's two ways you can go with this Pelican case. You can get the pluck out foam insert or you can get the uh, the padded divider velcro things. Um, I definitely like the velcro. I can change this around to suit whatever I need. If you get the foam insert with the pluck and play and you pluck, pluck it out and you put your gear in there and then six months later you don't have two of those pieces and there's this new thing you want to put in then you pretty much have to pull all the block out of foam and repluck. So that's why I think these padded inserts are great. They're, you can change them around as needed. So up in the top here, I don't think I don't keep too much that's critical. Usually I have a brush, a couple of brushes in here and an air blower. In here are the two dead kittens for my Rode microphones. Um, I always keep a coin. I always keep some uh, silicon gel around. I always have band-aids. In there I've got a SD reader and that's a lens cap. You know, so not very full at the moment right now, but those do come in handy for the little odds and ends in your case. So typically I put my camera here at the top uh, because the this is the top of the case when I'm rolling it so I wanted my camera to be at the top of the stuff instead of the bottom. Um, I move these around all the time but if I take the center one out the, and maybe move this it really all depends. I like having the option per job to uh, to move stuff around and rearrange how I want to transport it. These are the follow focus rings to put on my lenses. I did a review on that. This is a nice little $25 or so uh, adjustable light. These are little $12 uh, umbrella light stand clamps, but I end up using them to secure lots of different things. This is the $30 Manfrotto umbrella clamp. Um, it's a little better because the umbrella goes in at an angle, which is more of what you want. Anyway, this is a whip for the follow focus and those are the wireless microphones that I've been hardly using. A um, couple extra clamps. I use this one thing to kind of keep things, two microphones in there, and then on top here I can put a couple of clamps or something. Got a little mini tripod in here, TTL cable. This is a little thing that goes on top of your camera to add a couple more cold shoe spaces for. Got a magic arm with a, a mount for a 15 millimeter rod system. Another follow focus ring for a lens. This is a little thing you can stick on the front of your flash to diffuse it a bit. So that's pretty much it for the Pelican 1510 case review. It's really well made. It's super, super awesome. I'm sure I don't have to sell you on Pelican. So as I said, I picked up this little TSA approved lock uh, to lock right here. And then if I want, I can also secure it to the wall 
or a pipe or something with this really either this really heavy bike lock or this little seat lock will do the trick for securing your case to a wall or a pipe. I can fold this little seat cable up pretty nicely and put it in one of my pouches. I got fooled by the picture of this uh, bike lock cable. It seemed like it was a lot smaller. I thought it was more like this size. Maybe I'll use this for a really tough neighborhood. This has been Damien for DSLRNerd.com and thanks for watching.